and welcome to a game that I wanted to play again for quite some time. Dragon Age Origins. There are so many games I want to play, but this was like uh, asked of someone. <laughs> Uh, the question came, where is it you wanted to play it? I want to watch it. And I said, okay, okay. Then I do it, I thought. Um, I know I have games on hold right now. Uh, but I kind of feel like, yeah, I want to play this. Because it's so long ago that I played it. Like, years and years. I played it on the PlayStation 3. Uh, phew, Ten years ago. <laughs> or more. And <clears throat> I can remember some things and mechanics, so I don't want to talk too much. We start a new game right away. And so is the Golden City, blackened with each step you take in my hall. Marvel at perfection, for it is fleeting. You have brought sin to heaven and doom upon all the world. Canticle of Threnodice. 8 verse 13 The Chantry teaches us that it is the hubris of men which brought the darkspawn into our world. The mages had sought to usurp heaven, but instead they destroyed it. They were cast out, twisted and cursed by their own corruption. They returned as monsters, the first of the Darkspawn. They became a blight upon the lands, unstoppable and relentless. The Dwarven Kingdoms were the first to fall, and from the deep roads, the dark spawn drove at us again and again until finally we neared annihilation. Until the Grey Wardens came. Men and women from every race, warriors and mages, barbarians and kings. The Grey Wardens sacrificed everything to stem the tide of darkness and prevail. been four centuries since that victory and we have kept our vigil we have watched and waited for the darkspawn to return but those who once called us heroes have forgotten we are few now and our warnings have been ignored for too long seen with my own eyes what lies on the horizon. Maker, help us all. So yeah, <clears throat> that's the story of it all. <laughs> The Dark Spawn and the, the Grey Wardens. So, the background you select will determine which of six distinct opening stories you play through. It also affects how characters respond to you throughout the game. Okay, so we are female. 
Um, this is as I see human, elf, or dwarf. What they did? I don't like the hands of the elves. But okay, the hands are always horrifying. Oh my god. I never realized how horrifying the hands are. <laughs> but I don't want to be a dwarf. Um, I will go for an elf, honestly. Class. Warrior, Maggie, or Rook. Warriors are powerful fighters, focusing on melee and ranged weapons to deal with their foes. They can withstand and deliver a great deal of punishment and have a strong understanding of tactics and strategy. Specializations for a warrior include Berserker, Templar, Champion and Reaver. Class benefits plus 4 strength, 3 dexterity, 3 constitution. Wielding a power as dangerous as is potent, you know that magic is a curse for those lacking the will to control it. You anxiously um, await your harrowing, the one chance to prove yourself against the demons lurking without and within. Succeed or be slaughtered by the knights who work against your kind. Yeah. Um, mages are not seen very, yeah. Rook. Rooks are skilled adventurers who come from all walks of life. All rooks possess some skill in picking locks and spotting traps, making them valuable assets to any party. Tactically, they are not ideal frontline fighters, but if rooks can circle around behind their target, they can backstab to devastating effect. Rook specializations are Ranger, Bard, Duelist and Assassin. Class benefits for Dexterity, 2 Willpower and for Cunning. Um, I for myself will go for the Warrior because I play alone. Um, and the Warrior is the easiest class to play, kind of. The mage is all difficult. Um, and I think I would have need to get, uh, like, um, allies really, really fast. But as a warrior, I can uh, stand alone a little. So I will play. Oh, rock. I don't know. I played warrior before. <clears throat> ranger, bard, duelist, and assassin. I kind of would like to be assassin or ranger. But. Uh, yeah, as I said. Okay, background. What is this? Dalish elf? Proud of your role as one of the few true elves, you have always assumed you would spend your life with your tribe. Until a chance encounter with a relic of your people's past threatens to tear you away from everything you have ever known. And the city elf? Kind of like the city elf the two blades you have always lived under the heavy thumb of your human overlords but when a local lord claiming his privilege with the bride shatters your wedding day the simmering racial tensions explode in a rain of vengeance wow okay that's really bad Oh, okay. <laughs> I see. Okay. Yeah, then we go to the Kill Bill story, right? Okay. Greetings. Oh my god. Now and now it starts. Um appearance and voice. Ah. Uh, yeah, th that's preset. I could go for preset, but I don't want to. Skin complexion. This is like really young. I 
would say that fits. Here. Oh, that was not more skin tone. I am very pale. A uh, blush color. I don't see anything. Yeah, I don't need, I, I have no clue. Blush intensity, ah, I see. Yeah, I would say I have none. So this goes off. Lip color. <clears throat> kind of like that okay uh, lip intensity ah we should do this first okay Yeah, we go for the dark <laughs> things. Uh, eyeshadow color. Eyeshadow intensity, when then really heavy. This can take a while. <laughs> Bear with me, I beg of you. Um, dark red looks really cool like it okay nah <clears throat> this i think is more like black but i like the the red a lot There it was. Yeah, that I like. Okay. Tattoo. Uh huh. Hmm. 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 I have to say, I like this. But I guess I go for this because the other things are too much. Um, <clears throat> uh, tattoo color. Tattoo intensity, yeah. Okay. Um, that for the skin. Oh my gosh. <laughs> hair. Let's see. We start. Yeah, no hair. Mm -hmm. Okay, shortcut. Uh. That is good. Okay. No. That also is good. Mm. <laughs> Me is the uh, 
Yeah. I work at a library. I am the librarian. Psst. Be quiet. Uh, sorry. Um. I think this haircut is nice. I like that. This is... Too... But I like the pony tail. Uh, pony. Yeah, you know. Hair color. Okay, let's see. Uh... White, red, black, yeah, we go for black, I guess. Though the red is also really cool. I like this, but we go for black because my hair is black right now. <coughs> the eyebrows, I have no idea. Does she have eyebrows now? Yeah, maybe I go for this and do the eyebrows first because I don't see anything. This is kind of normal, right? Um, eyebrow color. Well, she has black hair. So she should have dark eyebrows. Okay. The eyes. Yeah, that will take a while. <laughs> Eye shape. Oh, this is good. This is good. Yeah. Um, eye size. I have very big eyes, guys. Really small. <laughs> no, um, this is okay. Eye spacing. <laughs> yeah, this looks a little. That's okay. Um, I hate height. Nah, that's too deep. Um, eye color, she gets really bright eyes, um, as bright as possible, oh green eyes are so beautiful, this is nice, right, um, throw depth, uh -huh. I don't really see uh, height. Oh, she she gets a a little like worried face there. Oh, what happens to me? Oh, oh this is bad. Oh, this is so bad. <laughs> Sorry. Um. Yeah. I think this is okay. I don't want her to look too worried. Nose shape. Oh, now now it comes. Okay. Um I think this nose is quite cute. Oh, this nose is so cute. Look at this. Oh, what in what a cute nose. Oh. But I think this is more like my nose. No? Now this is a little bit too pointy. I think this is my nose. I'm not really sure, but I don't have this... This little swoosh, I don't have that. My daughter has that, I don't have it. I think this is my nose. I kinda think. Okay, nose size. 
Yeah, you have a really big nose. No, I have a very small and fine nose, in fact. Um, my nose depth is... Yeah, of course, no. Um... would say like this nose hate yeah my nose is um, normal <laughs> not that deep but like this I guess I should my nostrils are very fine in fact yeah uh, bridge depth I nearly have no bridge <laughs> Really? It's very... Yeah, no. Normal, I would say. <coughs> Maybe like this? I guess? Yeah. Huh, even the problem here is there the same. I have that too. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Which was... Uh, I Did I do it? Uh, I don't know. Ah, this is... um. Pretty normal, I guess. Like this a little? Tip wide. Um. Like this? I don't know. I'm not sure about this. I tried to touch my her nose to find out. Yeah, of course. No, it's it's pretty normal, in fact. Yeah, I would say this is my nose. It looks from from the side it looks a little pointy, but from the front it looks really like yeah. <laughs> I have a very funny nose. Um <clears throat> we're nearly half an hour and I'm still not through. I'm so sorry. The mouth hide, yeah no. It was good before because um i already put the yeah you know lip size yeah that's a, of course my lip um i have normal sized lips yeah like this um i have a i don't know like this yeah um overbite underbite i don't have overbite or underbite i have a pretty normal face i guess that's why people don't really look at me um jaw and cheeks um my cheekbones are pretty uh, yeah, they're coming out really hard. Cheek white. Um, for women, I, th I guess I have. Um, it's a little smoother in my face. Yeah, I guess like that. Uh, cheekbone white. I have. Uh, yeah, very striking cheeks. Yeah, uh, shallow or full. Now, sadly, my cheeks are not like this, but like this. Yeah, this is all right, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, cheekbone height. Mm, no, it's pretty normal, I would say. Those are, are pretty high, yeah. Close to the eye. My cheekbones. Hmm. <coughs> I don't know, I don't really see... 
No, yeah, they are pretty high, yeah. Uh, Chin. Chin is uh, more difficult now. Yeah, it's not like that. Maybe like this? It's definitely not like this. Um, yeah, I have a really high chin. Like this. That's... I need to be honest here. Though I hate to be. <laughs> but my chin is a little uh, outgoing. Yeah, not much, but a little. Yeah. This is it. Um, chin white. Uh, now we have to look here. Yeah, no. Mm. No. I would say like this, yeah. Um. <clears throat> no, this looks a, a little bit too pointy. And uh, I don't have such a pointy face. Okay. Uh, jaw white. Yeah, no. My jaw is pretty small. Yeah, I would say like this. It's nearly my face. <laughs> but of course, I cannot uh, make it perfect. Neck and ears. Ah. Uh, Great, now I see, of course, my ears. Yeah, I just let them... I have normal ear size. <laughs> my neck thickness, okay. I have a very thin neck. Like, really, really thin. Uh, portrait, look up, down. Ah, this is now my portrait, okay. Ooh. This is good. Camera distance. Really close. Okay. <laughs> move left, move right. Yeah. Okay. Move up and down. Hmm. Background. Kind of like that. Expression. <laughs> oh, I can't remember that. That's so funny. Let her smile a little, don't you think? Oh, she looks so nice. Okay. Voice. No, it's gone. How do you do? Right. Casting. Focus. No. Greeting. Well, that didn't work. Well, this is odd. My weapon is useless. Hmm? Greetings. No, it's gone. I must try another tactic. Greetings. I have lost my concentration. It is unharmed. I must get by. Mm. Charmed. I lost the spell. Well, no, this does nothing. Shoo. Greetings. Ugh, my spell. This isn't working. Neat, you're in my way. Wise or experienced, honestly. Greetings. I have lost the spell. My weapon does nothing! Because usually... Uh... Greetings. Well, that didn't work. I need some other attack! Move aside. Wise is too calm, but experienced, I would say, yeah. Okay, my name is, of course, Lauri. Uh, and my after name, I can't change, okay? <laughs> Quick play, yeah, no. Next. Okay. 
So now I get five points that are important. Strengths, dexterity, willpower, magic, cunning, constitution. Uh, <clears throat> oh my god, the... It's so small! Okay. Strength measures a character's physical powers and directly affects the damage. Yeah, that we know. Dexterity is the measure of agility, reflexes, and balance. Higher dexterity improves a character's chances to hit. Makes the character more likely to dodge incoming blows and contributes to the damage dealt by piercing weapons like daggers or arrows. Okay? Willpower represents a character's determination and mental fortitude. With high willpower, mages can cast more spells. Yeah, we don't need this, we are a warrior. Magic is the measure of character's natural affinity for the uh, arcane. This attribute is crucial for mages since it directly increases. Can we make magic lower? No, we cannot. No, please don't. Cunning. Cunning determines how well a character learns and reasons. Most skills, such as herbalism or combat tactics, require a quick mind to master, and an observant eye can more easily find weaknesses in enemy armor. Rogues benefit most from the statistic, yeah, but constitution. Constitution represents health and resilience. Higher constitution directly increases the amount of damage a character can take. Yeah, I'll go, come on. This, of course, we need. And this we need. And honestly, I think this is more important. Because, yeah, I say it. <laughs> I say it. It is like that. Okay. Um, What is this? Uh, coercion. Passive. Requires 10 cunning. Ah, uh, yeah, we have to do... Oh, uh, yeah, now I can remember that we get the skills from what stats we have. Oh, The character is influential enough to convince others to change their views. Strength contributes to a more intimidating character, whereas cunning contributes to a more persuasive character. Okay, per yeah. Stealing. Uh... Okay, trap making, survival, herbalism, uh, poison making, combat training. The character has completed basic combat training, warriors and rogues gain access to first tire weapon talents. Combat tactics. The character can formulate strategy quickly in battle. Honestly, I want to do this. Yeah, I need 12 cunning, but I have to go for combat. <coughs> okay. Uh, <coughs> I'm sorry, my throat. Um, powerful. Passive. Through training and hard work, the warrior has gained greater health and reduced the Fatigue penalty of wearing armor, okay. Precise striking. The warrior tries to make each attack count, sacrificing attack speed. Dual weapon. I kind of want to go for dual weapon, in fact. Archery weapon and shield. Mm, Two-handed. No, I will go for... I don't care for the other stuff. I want to go dual weapon. I like dual weapons. I'm sorry. I love dual weapons. The character has become more proficient fighting with two weapons and now deals closer to normal damage bonus with the offhand weapon. Uh, when in this mode the character strikes with both weapons simultaneously, it takes cause more damage but the character cannot inflict regular critical hits or backstabs. Huh. The character sweeps bow uh, weapons in a broad forward arc, striking nearby enemies with one or both weapons and inflicting significantly more damage than normal. Mm. 
this goes a lot of dexterity and this goes strength and dexterity okay um And I go for this. Okay. Please select the difficulty level. We go for normal. And here I make a cut and we see us in the next episode. <laughs>